Hi guys, welcome back to another GGF video. Today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing on the brand new Rocket Nith Gammy Mouse. Now, this is this mouse is brand new. I haven't even opened it yet. I've just received this today. Uh, I can't post this video up yet as of the time I'm doing this because uh, I think the 8th of August is when I can uh, put this video up. So what I'm going to be doing is, is just doing an unboxing, uh, see what the mouse is like first off, my experience, uh, sort of my thoughts, what, what I'm thinking about this. Then I'm going to test the mouse out for a couple of weeks and then I'll give you my thoughts because it uses the brand new, uh, brand new Swarm software which is meant to be really sweet. So I, I want to give that a good testing and sort of play around with the... Uh, removable buttons and it's got side grips and all that so there's a lot going on with this mouse like even the box says uh, 3d print support uh what do we have a uh, modular mmo gaming mouse it looks like it's our rgb it's even got this sick little carry case over here like there's just so much going on uh, so it's got your standard all the things with your smartphone you can control and ergonomic side grips and then the modular thumb zone with all the buttons you can uh all the buttons you can uh you can remove and then on the the back, it's just got a heap of things, so we'll just quickly go go over, I'll try and get that out of the glare. So we have a 2D Titan wheel, we have easy shift button, now if you've used a rock out before, easy shift button is if you hold that down, it's pretty much the same as a shift key on your keyboard, you hold it down and you can use all the functions again on the mouse to do something else. Uh, it's got integrated TDCU, don't even know what that is, I'm sure it says it somewhere else, and a modu modular thumb zone. So instead of a mouse having like uh, all heaps of thumb buttons, like one, two, three, four, all certain sizes, I believe with this one you can uh, blank the mouse, you can have long keys, you can have small keys, all things like that. And moving down to some of the specs, first off we have a crazy 12,000 DPI twin tech laser sensor R1. Uh, new generation adjustable in one DPI increments. Now I don't even know what that uh, what that sensor is. Um, I, I, I don't even know who makes it, but we'll uh, I'll have to look into that when um, when I do the second review on the the mouse. Now it's got two hot swap side grips. Uh, as I said, modular thumb area. Uh, it uses the integrated next drive system, which is the Swarm. I'm interested to, to see that. Apparently, it's got uh, a solid carry case that looks really sweet. And then it uses the uh, the FX torque and all that for the illumination and design your parts or download via the library through the pretty uh, 3D printing support. So that looks pretty sick uh, that you can do that. Um, apparently it's MOBA approved. Uh, I don't know who approves that, but it's got that uh, MMO approved. Um, one thing it's not um, not designed for FPS, but I have been told that you can make it FPS. You can remove a lot of the buttons and whatnot. So moving in. Um, to me, I think Rockout do the best looking packages um, around. You just don't get anything that looks this good. Now, now bear in mind, uh, I believe this mouse isn't going to be cheap. I don't have a price tag on it yet, but going by some of their uh, recent mice they've released, uh, they, they aren't cheap. So, all right, so moving this up, you can see it in there. Looks like a ve very big mouse, and then you can just see all the side thumb buttons. So what I'm going to do, instead of spending any more time, I'm going to open this carefully so I don't destroy this nice box. All right, so I opened it up a little bit harder than I thought. Uh, quite a few little bits of uh, tape over it. And we'll slide this out. Put this away. Okie dokie, so this just comes off. That's just a bit of a cover. And uh, there we have it there. So this is just the mouse here. Really uh, interesting how they've uh, done that. So I'm assuming there's going to be a bit of a uh, LED light down the bottom, most likely RGB. Uh, maybe some lights on the front, I'm not sure yet. So just feeling this straight away. So definitely left-handed. There's no way you're gonna be able to use this this handed because you're not gonna use any of the buttons. Um, it does feel nice. It, it does feel a little bit different. Just looking on the back to see what we What's this release? Okay, crazy heaps of things there. All right, so this looks like the other rest you can put on here. This might just be magnetic, actually. Oh, so that's probably for this, no? See, I don't even know how to, uh, oh, yep. And then you put this on. Oh, yep, so that just clips on. All right, so that's the other one. Now, that is huge when you look at that. Absolutely huge. It actually doesn't feel too bad, actually. 
but um, I don't think I could use that style for FPS. I like to have this finger on the actual mouse pad. All right, now moving on. All right, we have our documentation. Oh, we got some fancy stickers and whatnot. Anything else in here that I need to look for? Nope, that's just all packaging. All right, so this looks like the sick little carry case. Now bear in mind, this doesn't house the mouse. It just houses uh, all your sort of accessories. Alrighty. Okay, so that actually smells really weird. I don't know, like it's a, the material used, but it's kind of like a, a rubbery sort of a blue material in here. And then, all right, so as I was saying before, with the, uh, with the uh, sort of numbers on the, uh, on the side for your thumb, you can, uh, you don't see how at the moment it's all individual. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You can change this to say, have a larger key that takes up two spots, or you can have keys that take up, you can have keys that take up a whole row. So you don't have to just have the six and you could just have uh, the 12, you could just have uh, three, uh, three switches, top, middle and bottom. So I really like how they've done that. And it looks like you can also store the, uh, you can also store the thumb thing in here if I can work out, there we go, I think. Yeah, so you can store the, um, the spare side grip in there as well. All right, I'm just trying to work out how you, uh, how you even take the, uh, take the switches out. I might have to consult the, uh, the quick start guide. Okay, we'll test to see how good this is. Okay, so we worked out how to uh, pull the, the grip off. You just do the release. Actually, no. This grip here just comes off regardless. You don't need to hold the release. That's just done by one, two, three, four, four magnets on the side. I like that idea. So the release, release switch. Slide and hold the switch on underside to release thumb buttons. Buttons can be removed one by one or all together. So we hold the release, which is on the bottom. You pull that through, and now I'm assuming these just come out. Oh, okay, so that's pretty sweet. So they sort of, oh, there we go. I just knocked them all out. Okay, so they come out like that, and now that's how the mouse looks there, completely empty. Fair enough. All right, so now I can grab a larger one, and it actually tells you button placement. Take care to insert buttons correctly. Double buttons cannot be placed in the middle. Okay, all right, fair enough. So these, the only limitations I see are the double buttons, which is uh, these ones here that take up two, cannot be placed in the middle because they've got rounded edges. So you must place them on the edges like so. So if I, oops, if I put this back. So yeah, so they have to go on the, the edges. They can't go sort of in the center like that, which is, which is fair enough can't have everything these days and then I can put in a nice middle one like that and I can put in a nice bottom one. Oh, so actually, actually these long ones down here aren't buttons. They're just, co they're, they're just covers. I thought they might have been long buttons so you could just have one long but they're actual little covers. Um, so the only buttons you get are the double and the single ones. Which is, um, which is all right. All right, so apart from that, it tells you default button assignment. Oh, there's a heap of default button assignments. Uh, we've also looked at the grip. What else is there? Configuration, uh, specifications. All right, so that's pretty much it I'm gonna do in this, in this video. Just wanted to show you what this mouse looks like. Uh, probably next, actually what I might do, I might just grab a laptop now, we're nearly there, so we'll just plug this in and we'll see what actually lights up. Okay, so I've got a laptop there, we'll just plug it in. So the cable would be about 1.5 meters long, pretty much standard. Uh, it isn't gold-plated USB. Um, I'm not really sure if that matters. I'm pretty sure uh, Rocat know what they're doing when it comes to uh, peripherals, so I'm sure that's not a huge concern. All right, so there's it plugged in. We'll just actually grab the mouse pad 
because it doesn't move on this material I've got here at all. All right, so straight away we can see that. Um, I actually didn't know, but the top, uh, the top of the mouse actually, it would be good if I peel off the protective little sticky things on the bottom, wouldn't it? Okay, I think they're all off. Okay, so that's it in there. Feels really nice. Um, but until I install the software, which I'll do later on, I'll completely test this for a few weeks, install the software, uh, play around with all the lighting, some of the switches, things like that. I must say that one, straight away I can feel that if you're not using the switches on the side, uh, definitely putting the blanking plates in do make, does make it feel a lot smaller because when you don't have it on, your fingers sort of, thumbs sort of sitting on um, a real uneven side and it sort of pushes it out a bit more which makes it feel weird. But um, but yeah, I really like the top, how it's glowing. So that's RGB as well. And then with your different, um, I'll just quickly try the other thumb button and see what that's like. Yeah, see that makes it look, I don't know, I don't know if that looks as so strange to you, but it definitely does change the, uh, alters the shape from there to that one there. So you can see how much different. I actually do prefer it now a little bit that it it is bulkier. It just gives you that more support on, on the side there. But I do mainly play uh, FPS, so it's not really designed with this. I wouldn't mind throwing it in an FPS game to see how it goes because uh, I would like to read up a little bit more on the sensor they've got because um, it definitely looks like a new one uh, than the standard uh, sensor that we've been seeing on a lot uh, of mice uh, to date. So yeah. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Just wanted to do a quick unboxing of my first impressions of this. So far, I'm sort of really, really interested to sort of progress further. Uh, definitely the build quality is really nice. Uh, pretty much standard for uh, for Rockat these days. R really nice build quality. The material is nice. It'd be interesting to see if they bring out more colors. They do, do, do a lot of white mice, black ones. So um, it's, it's interesting the why they went sort of the gray and black. It does look a little bit dull. But I guess with the RGB lighting, it does make some nice effects. So, but yeah, as I said, I'll test this out for a few weeks, come back and do sort of a proper review. And I'll, I'll actually cover their new software they've got and we'll see how it all goes.